Oh my god. I played the prologue of this game maybe a year ago. I got the prologue. And I thought that the, they just stopped development. Because <laughs> the what I looked at one point, the last update had been like half a year ago. But I'm so excited because they finished the game. Okay. Um, pr the premise of this game is you're just a detective. That's pretty much it, I think. Honestly, the music sounds really good just in the menu. I don't remember very much about the music from the prologue. All right, I guess we just start. Yeah, played the prologue before. So this this part won't be blind, unfortunately. Who smokes in the bathtub? Oh my god. Look at that bottle. This is this is strange. It's like a combination of pixel art and like actual graphics. So, I'm going to tidy something up. Green at four. Yeah, this is a person we're meeting with. We're tidying up so that we can meet with this person. Oh my god, where is the sink? Why? <laughs> you know, this guy's living a dream. He's got a bathtub in his living room. Oh my god. Oh, I should probably read these. That's what YouTubers do. What's he got? The Great Apes, The Great Story, Swell Toilet Read. <laughs> I used to have a book. Um, Something, the big, great, 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 greatest, great, or something bathroom reader i miss it Ooh, mrs green good timing excuse me i'm looking for detective lotor we spoke on the phone <laughs> that's an intense name i think i'll pronounce it loader you know i'm gonna be polite at your service mrs green how's your day going truth be told my back's killing me pregnancy puts pressure on the spine and please oh that is fine you got it yeah how can i help you today Understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening, because I don't assume things. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Once again, we don't assume. Try talking to him about it. He gets difficult, like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Oh, so she's assuming. You know, I'll ask. Court, are you filing for divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't be be a question. I have a feeling this guy, this woman has a vendetta for some reason. I'm taking the case. What do you need to know? All of this. Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. What, you mean you don't have interspecies stuff here? Here's glasses, square ones, wedding band. As far as I know, <laughs> carries a black briefcase to him from work. Where can I find him? So he's acting out of character and smelling funny. He's been smelling funny. Has he been aggressive? Personal details can make or break a case. He is a mean tepper. Unpredictable, and that's all you need to know. How would I pick him out of a crowd? Where's a suit, picked out his green tie and hat. Full name, Jeremy Green. People at work call him Jez. All right, he's mentioned a few guys, says they get together after work sometimes. Where does he work? At Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. Well, that suffice. Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Like if I wanted McDonald's on the way. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? It's a matter of trust. Oh, this one's hard. You know, I think this one. Don't let me down, Mr. Loader. I trust you with my life. Of course! Oh. Oh. This is hot. Oh. <laughs> nice. I like that. Oh. I'm so excited, guys. Look at the rain. This is a pixel art game. What the fuck? Look at the rain on the pavement. Okay, so he works at, I forgot, Wolfbank. This is where he works. Is this where Green works? Yes, I do believe so. Banker, you folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jez around? And who are you? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just say my name. I'll just say that. What did that asshat do? Nothing, I just want to talk to him. What, he beat up his wife? Why do you think he did? Lizard was eating his brains out for... That lizard. What? What? <laughs> Why is oh fuck you an option? 
Do you know where he is right now? Sure as hell don't talk to cops. Private <gasps> PI! Private investig- Okay, that's the answer to our question. Hey germ, don't get excited. Are you looking for trouble? No, goodbye. This be a little difficult. Seems like, yeah, people think he would beat up his wife. Hottest new jazz star, see her tonight, only at the bite. Where would he be? Let me ask around some other people. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you doing up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? No. My beaver, our Estrella, and the kids. And we'll doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even blessed bless the shepherd got a second. Oh, let another kid. Okay. Too, too many if you ask me. You'll want one eventually, Howie. So anyway, SC is as round as a watermelon, right? So I told her, Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to get to the point. Nah, let's. So <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer. Says, give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, woman, man. <laughs> okay, so I just have to listen to this guy now. This guy, oh, so funny. Now can I speak? I'm sorry, I tried. I tried, dude. I... What's eating ya? This guy is, take a look. Have you seen him recently? Heard anything on the grapevine? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell, really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. He smelled of what exactly? Probably beer, I'm going to assume. Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume. Herbs, awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he'd be now? This bite is as good a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Did you ever talk? Did he ever mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. Smell did not talking for the both of us. <laughs> Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons, goodbye. That's a little... racist. <laughs> I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Oh, yeah, baby. I'm gonna suck his cock. Sure, we can arrange something. Bye. Personal invitation signed by the great apes. I don't think that's happening. I don't know who those are, but... Alleyway. Oh, my God. Larry! Wow! Larry? The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old, you old rascal? All right, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I'm just gonna do all of these guys with the Jersey accent at this rate. I don't know, man. Are you okay? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here? What did he do? Can't tell. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? Here's a photo. I'm not describing my- <laughs> I don't remember. Haven't seen him. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Said your guy's an otter? That's weird. That is weird. Any ideas? Could ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't exactly know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Typical hype and shatter fang? Jeez, those are some intense names. Started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. You think this guy would help? My tank's convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Monkey butt. Yeah, what is this new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a little, a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. <laughs> Wait. Lead. Oh. Does it have kind of an herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. Lots of rumors floating around about the horrible ordeal. The bear family. Crime family. Last year, head of family up and died. Shit hit the fan air, ended up in prison. What's the deal with the owner? People say she's taken back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. What are the rumors? 
all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover. Hey, what's wrong with that? Or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over? That's kind of yikes. Hopefully that's enough. You got it, Howard. Welcome to Straction. Really? See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Objectives. Find Johnny and persuade him to get me into the bite. I gotta find Johnny. Downey's on duty at the booth up ahead. I can't Oh. Can't deal with him right now. Where would Johnny be? Let's ask this guy. Bo. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Front pages today are all great ape parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How's that news? No way, the floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. How's business anyway? You tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? Peddlers? Ricky ass stands, harassing folks, all with no permit. Police booth is right there. Tried reporting him. By the time the officer gets there, the hawkers are smoke. Damn their nimble little legs. Are they actually hawks? Probably. Yeah, you go. I'm busy. The rodent hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Sorry to hear. Gotta go, but I'll see you around. Squirrel. Wait, wait. Yo, old man. How's it going? Fella, just hanging. What's with you? I could say I'm good too. Right, hanging to yours, peace, bro. Do you know someone called Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. What do you want? Uh, he'll think I'm a cop if I ask for this, for sure. So I, I should ask this. Bet you do, pal. Why should I care? Ooh, some intimidation tactics. They sell monkey butt through you. The fuck? Where'd you get that stupid idea, Striper? Is that a slur? Just a rumor that's going around. So will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. But you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in. For good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? God, this is difficult. I don't remember much from... The first time I played the prologue, but I do remember that these people are tough crowds. Mark is in the bite. Sure. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. Oh, we're hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. You know what? You're right. I am a loser. I am, but I need your help. Are you on something right now? God, this is stressful. Is that a promise? <laughs> Let's do it. The fuck are you suggesting? Help me. I don't want to blow it. Then shut up and buy something. Or else what? Else I teach you. Bit late for that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, did we corner him? Yo! We did it! We cornered him! I don't even care. Let's go. I'll talk to Hank. Thank you. Oh, that was scary. This guy's just vibing. This guy's just vibing so hard. Hey, Hank. Is Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customers. Striper. Oh, yeah. You cook a bit. Don't cause any trouble. We're in, boys. Renee. Yo. Well, you're unusual. <laughs> Not unlike that greeting. Touche. Renee Wilson. Howard Lodor. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Calling it, that's a line you would have said that no matter what name I gave. You're quick. You're a wit. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. Is that a fake card? To one end, I wonder. Do you want it back? Keep it. If you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman? No, but I only sat down. A minute ago. Awesome. Lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. 
Enjoying yourself? Not yet, my f Ooh, spicy. Not yet, my friend's late. How touching. They're a regular. Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glass. Mm, he's an otter. Try the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. Buy you a drink while I'm at it, if you insist. What's your poison? Surprise me, I'll try. Oh, are we actually gonna talk to him? Wait, bartender, bartender, hey. No, I can't talk to him. Howard is so smooth. Clarissa, you look a little lost. It's that obvious. It is to me. It's not my usual scene. Then what brings you here tonight? You're not a troublemaker, are you? Say I was. No, <laughs> that's gonna cause trouble and that made me a troublemaker. No, just trying something new for a change. I'm enjoying the conversation at least. This guy is smooth. Feeling is mutual. So to whom do I have the pleasure? It's Wallace. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. What do you do for a living, Wallace? I'm a photographer. Private stuff. I appreciate creative types. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. Well, I love it. I don't know about you guys. And you excel at it. Say, what do you say really stands out here? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More of a regular than you? Sure is, always talking the place up. What's his name? If he's here tonight, I'll know. Yeah. And you're just meeting him for a quiet drink? Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, fuck! That's your prerogative, per prerogative. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Your law... I don't think that she'll be very offended by this. I'd rather stay. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need, I'm blowing this joint. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Don't count on it. Even though I'm a troublemaker, she's uh, she's into me. Yeah. Okay, um... Fuck. Find a way back inside. I need to find another way in. Probably the alleyway. I'll talk to Larry again. I got... How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you man manage that? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I meant Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. That's what I figured. How do I get back in there? Now hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you have no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Aw. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have brought that up. No, you're right. Probably reek of the stuff, too. Listen, I'm no one to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help, but this is where we draw the line. I hear you. How do I get back in? The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so it must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up. You're someone they're expecting, they'll buzz you in. Any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of a code. You're de the detective, not me. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get on the roof? Isn't there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. Nah, no fire escape. The bite is too high. Are there any other smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand! Oh, uh, I'm loving this. I love you, Larry. I'm so sorry that these things have happened to you. Well, there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to Mackenzie, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. That's the most accurate description of Bo I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up to it. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. See, I love the dialogue in this game. Like, one of the things I loved about it the first time I played it, especially 
was just the dialogue is so it's so specific and good hold on fuck you dude the dialogue is so good bo my guy back so soon what now hey bo i was hoping you could help me out i don't know i'm quite busy won't take a minute i just need to climb the stand absolutely not you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition uh what if i could offer something in return now that you mention it maybe you could help with the little issue i've been having spill it i need that seed selling pika hawker off of granville can you do that the stinking pika with the cart by the clothes store he's just a kid why is he a problem the rodent on wheels doesn't have to worry about allowance rent or utilities he sells his nibble dirt cheap and poaches my business. Oh, it's the guy on the bike, I think. You're sure he's evading allowance though, right? How else would someone profit off of those prices? What do you want me to do about it? It's not really my style. Scratch back mine yours. You're lucky I'm desperate. Wish me luck. Okay, where are you? Hey, hey. It's not him. This guy? Sid, oh, Sid, Seed. Man. Feel it peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match, make your own trail mix. How about it? Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Okay. Could you leave Granville, at least for tonight? I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sales spot this time of night. See, you're not supposed to be here. What do you mean, supposed to be? I need something for, uh, not important. I'll roll away. I'll lay off. Do you have a seller's permit? Why do you want to know? You're not a cop. Allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to make a living here. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just looking out for you. By bullying me? Just warning you, you're making enemies. My mama didn't raise me to be scared of people like you. You better start moving now. I'll move for now, but you'll be a bully forever. Shepard knows. All of them are just turning into Jersey accents. Let's just say he won't be bothering you for a while. I threatened to snitch on him. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Oh, the animation is also nice. Oh, look at the detail in those windows. Oh my god, it's such a game. The bite. There we go. Yeah, there's a door. All right. Green after all that, you better be in here, you bastard. I think I'll get all the way through the prologue and then uh, end this recording. Okay, so we're in. I kind of want to be careful. Dressing room. Thanks, Shepard. It's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Scary. Um, look at that picture on the wall. Kind of spicy, wouldn't you say? Control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Is this a dark object? Yeah. Okay. Um, just got to keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jez must be there. Oh, hi. private room. Did I miss him? Maybe he left something that could help Odette. Painting. That is spicy. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did that get there? Oh, I just want to look at the painting. <gasps> green hat. Green must have been here. Now where's the rest of him? Herbs. Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. <laughs> Bro, this place looks so nice. What the? A secret- Oh! <gasps> A secret lift. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. So there's a door. It's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Yeah, corkboard. Inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Open vent. I can fit through it if I crouch. Oh dear. I have a feeling there's a pattern to this. Okay, I'm behind a I'm behind a dark object right now. I think Oh, you're kidding. Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, so he's just suspicious right now. Bro. Fuck. Okay, I got caught. Okay, intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions close. Probably dial kitchen. 
Oh, this is kitchen. What do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. How are you? Uh, I want to order a large pizza. Pineapple on top. Ha 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 ha. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so that's how I do it. Oh, no. Fuck. I think, okay. I think I know what I have to do. So I have to draw one of them over here with the intercom. I cannot. I think I have to get caught and try again. Okay, 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 okay. Dial kitchen. I want to order a large pizza. Hang up. Get out of there. And then hurry. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hurry. I think I'm clear. Oh, some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Code lock. Oh, inspect the locker. Maybe you could keep your papers on your locker, ba- <laughs> What is this? Bro? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's multiple of these. Um, okay. So I just need to find the pieces that fit. Okay. AV... AV1A. For that one. About this one. Four. S okay, circle. Wait, they're shapes. I think. Oh, this is another one. This goes over the map. Zero. Oh. Let me look at that code lock. Code lock. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So how do I use these to get out of here? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's square first, so that's zero. Circle, zero, four. Uh, zero, four, five. One? Zero, four, five, one? You're sh okay, that's so good. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Uh, I don't like this place. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Fuck. A certain cause of death. Uh, I can't do this. Get out. Escape. Oh, shh. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Get me out. Where do I go? Where do I go? Sorry, Jez. You didn't just Key. Turn key. For a thing. Okay. Now I have to... <laughs> Upstairs. Okay. Turn key for the lift. Escape.
Oh my god. <sighs> Look, I've played this before and it still hit. I I knew he was but uh, Oh my god. You know, I think I will end this episode here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching if you did watch all the way through. That is pretty awesome. I'm excited about this game and I would very much recommend it. Um, I haven't even played the whole thing. and I've, I would recommend it. It's on Steam. Huge shout out to the creators of this because that's... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll play more of this for sure. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.